Welcome back to ABC 36. Thousands of people are without a job or they'll be looking for work in the near future. But where do you start? Reba Carroll is here from Spencerian College with some tips. Reba, thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for inviting me. Well, you're welcome. You know, it can be very overwhelming when you're unemployed and you just really don't know where to start to mm -hmm. find a new job. Mm -hmm. What's your advice? Well, it's tough out there and people are frightened, they're mm -hmm. angry, they're frustrated. And a lot of times they don't know what to do next. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, what we'd like to talk about a little bit is how to network and find that job. Uh, you know, most jobs are not advertised. Eighty to eighty-five percent of the available jobs are wow. are not advertised. That's hard to believe. It's expensive mm -hmm. uh, for a, a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. Employers do not advertise, so you have to know how to find them, how to tap into them, how to interview for them. So. Uh, experts are saying now if you are unemployed you need to be spending about 35 hours a week on your job search that is your job wow. now so uh, one of the things to do it's probably uh, obvious but it is the most powerful thing to do is word of mouth let mm -hmm. people know that you are looking for work uh, if you talk to a hundred people and mm -hmm. they know a hundred people that's 10,000 sure. people who know you're looking right. for work so uh, you should always uh, uh, keep that in mind. Never underestimate who you think someone knows. Um, you don't know the connections that people have. And uh, so it's good to let them know exactly what your qualifications are, what you're looking for, and don't be shy about it. So You know, social networking is even helpful in the job search. It is. Uh, you know, Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, the LinkedIn uh, network, if you're on that, you can have colleagues who can actually uh, uh, write up articles about uh, the fact that they've worked with you before. Oh, that's wonderful. And, uh, yeah. Well, you talked about those unadvertised jobs. Mm. So if they aren't advertised, where do people go to find them then? Well, if you first of all, you need to find out, uh, again, through word of mouth, who's hiring. That way is a very okay. good way to do it. There are some things online, but you're not always qualified for the jobs that are online. Uh, one way to do it is if you want to work for a certain company, to go in and do an informational interview hmm. where you call the employer, ask for 20, 30 minutes of their time. It's a great idea. And you go in and ask questions based on qualifications, what education should I need, mm -hmm. uh, should I have for this, you know, what are my skill sets for this job. And uh, you're not going in to ask for an interview, but often that can lead to an interview. Exactly. They may mm -hmm. keep you in mind when a job right. comes up. A month comes later open. down the road, you find out they're hiring, you call them up and say, remember me? Right. Uh, we did the informational interview. So that gives you a foot in the door. It gives you an advantage over mm -hmm. someone who may not have done an informational interview. So and people have very, had that work out for them. So with our, with our students at Spencerian College, every quarter someone gets hired as a result of an informational interview. So that is an option. Very great advice. And our time is up here. But okay. there is still time for viewers to get their questions answered if we didn't answer everything here you can call right now 859-294-6090 and experts from Spencerian College are standing by to take your calls stay with us we'll be back in just a little bit